All right. So for this problem, it says I'm given a polynomial. x cubed minus 6x squared plus 11x minus 6. So that is our polynomial. Then I'm given a factor. All right. So what do we remember? Let's go back through. What do we know again about polynomials and factors? Well, let's go back to numbers and factors. So Madison, if I said, what is a factor of 12? You could say 6, right? Well, why do you know that 6 is a factor of 12? Because the definition of a factor is you know that your factor is going to multiply by another factor to give you 12, right? So you could say, yeah, I know 6 is a factor of 12 because 6 divides into 12 two times, right? So ladies and gentlemen, if I say x minus 3 is a factor, do we now know that x minus 3 divides into this polynomial? We might not know right now how many times it does. It's not as easy as 6 and 2 and 12. But we now know, since I say that in the problem, this is a factor, then you know it divides into this. So there's two different ways we can divide, long division or synthetic division. right? And what we learned is as long as we have our factor is a linear factor, then we can use apply synthetic division. So we can apply synthetic division. So we set 3, and then we use the coefficients. All right. Now, let's go back again. What is the question actually asking us, though? It says, if this is a factor, tell me all the other factors. So that's like saying, OK, if here's number 12, and I say 6 is a factor, tell me every, all the other factors. right? Or fa what we like to say is factor this completely. So you can say, oh, well, that's 6 times 2, 3 times 2, times 2. Now, obviously, we know that 4 is also a factor that's not included in that problem. But when I say factor a number completely, you break it down to a product of prime numbers, right? which is 3 times 2 times 2. So when I say fact or find all of the factors, I want you to find all of the linear factors, just like we found all of the prime numbers when you guys did this type of problem. So let's divide and see what our other factor is. So I bring down the 1. 1, one times 3 is 3. Negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3. Negative 3 times positive 3 is negative 9. 11 plus negative 9 is positive 2. 3 times 2 is 6, give you 0. Since my remainder now is 0, does this now tell me I have a, um, or this divides evenly into the polynomial? Yes. So remember we say remainder, constant, linear, quadratic. So now I could say x minus x minus 3 times x squared minus 3x plus 2. This times this equals that. Did everybody agree with now kind of the understanding of this? I said 6 is a factor, right? 6 divides into 12 two times. 6 times 2 equals 12, right? x minus 3 divides into this polynomial. How many times? x squared minus 3x plus 2 times. So this times this gives you that, okay. right? Okay. Same thing with numbers, now just with polynomials. But with numbers, we don't want just to say the factors. We want to find you the prime numbers. So we factor 6 again, right? We factor it further down. So can we fact, and when we're talking about polynomials, we only want our factors as linear factors meaning we only want them to be raised to a power of 1. So is this a linear factor? No. So we need to see, can we factor this further down? Just like I factored 6, let's see if we can factor this down. And can we break this down further? Well, that's why factoring is so important, because you guys, we need to know, how, right, how can I quickly factor this? Well, hopefully you guys can see that this can be factored into x minus 1 times x minus 2. So therefore, now is it written as a product of linear factors? Yes. And guess what? These are now all of the factors of my polynomial. And that's done. So that's what you have to put the x minus 3 at the bottom of the answer. Yeah, this is, yeah. Because it's saying, what are all the factors? So these are all your factors. Because this times this times this gives you that. And they're all linear. Okay? So that's what you guys should have had written as your final answer. 